Alma and welcome to my book journey. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a kind of like a little vlog maybe of a trip that my family and I took down to Tennessee over 4th of July weekend. And the reason I'm, I'm sharing this with you is while I was down there, I wanted to make sure that one, <laughs> I, as far as bookish things, I wanted to uh, try to go to a bookstore that I had heard about and then also I wanted to if I had time to go and uh, check out some little free libraries in the area where we were going to be staying and so I'm going I have some footage not not very much and I have to say after when we came back I thought you know what I didn't film as much as I wanted to but you know how it is when you're on vacation you you're just busy 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 doing stuff visiting family and and you just don't even think about taking pictures or filming or anything. And so I have a, I made myself a little, little, little cheat sheet because I was trying to remember, okay, what all did I um, actually get around to filming? And so, so the first part of this video, I'm going to just show you like, <clears throat> like the trip down. And like I said, we were visiting family in Tennessee over 4th of July weekend. And we hit a, a, a place that we, that we really enjoyed going to. And um, I think we, this uh, this particular location is fairly new into the, in the area and was new to us. We had been to one before. I mean, we've been to one before this trip, but this is, I think our, maybe our third time being there. So that's like the first place that we hit along the way. And then um, I'll show you, I'll have some video in here just a little just a little snippets of like some food places we tried that aren't in Indiana and then um, uh, some a drive view not that very much and then my daughter had an opportunity to go out on the on the river um, my her uncle uh, took her out on the boat and she was able to um, go out on the river on the boat it, and she had fun time with that. And then lastly was a little video I took of some fireworks that we saw out on the out on the river, which was really cool. But I can tell you that when we were out there, everybody, our family members were saying, you know what, this is like the hottest it's been in Tennessee, you know. It was so hot, it was like really bad hot. And they were like, no, this it never gets this hot. I don't know why, I'm just like, of course, it's because we're here that it's this hot. And so I'm just gonna um, uh, put in the video here that we took and that we took all there going to Tennessee and then just some stuff that we did while we were there. And then I'll come back. Okay, the first stop on our tour, or not on our tour, on our trip to Tennessee is we had to stop at Bucky's. And we're really hungry. We're gonna go in and have, grab some breakfast. Just amazing, all the, <laughs> how many um, places to get gas in this place it is crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. And here's old Bucky. <laughs> Okay, I got a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for breakfast, but I had to grab one of these for later. Uh oh, <laughs> a uh, milk chocolate chocolate truffle buckies for later. Lawrence, Wabash, Indiana, October 1865. Autumn's chill matched Sarah Montgomery's heart. Trying Bojangles with some chicken. Could have shared a video. Here she goes. 
just get pulled by this old bird. Okay, so like I said, I had heard about a particular bookstore. In fact, it was um, a couple weeks ago, several weeks ago, I saw some booktubers that all got together to go to, um, let's see, they were, they were back east somewhere. And a lot of them got together to meet up and I thought it was so, so cool. They all got to meet up. And I know one of a uh, couple, one of them was Anne with uh, Search of Wonder was there. And I think uh, Krista with Books and Gems, I think she was there at that that uh, meetup. Anyway, during, on that video that they, sh they shared, they all, after they had lunch and everything and had like a book exchange, which was really cool, they all went to this store called McKay's uh, Used Books. And they showed, you know, how they got, they were able, some of them brought books to trade and then they got like credit and then they turned around and, and purchased books there. And it just looked like an awesome bookstore. It was really big. And so as I was looking it up, I was like, you know, where, I wonder where the closest one to us is. And there was one in Knoxville, Tennessee. And, and I told my husband, I said, hey, because we drive through Knoxville to get to our family, um, to visit family. So I told him, hey, the next time we go to Tennessee uh, to see family, can we go to this uh, bookstore? And he's like, yeah, sure. So that was so fun um, to go to that. And it was like, like 20, maybe 30, 20 minutes away from where we were staying. So I told my husband, I'm definitely coming back to spend more time. Because I really, I was there, I'm trying to think. Oh, maybe about an hour, maybe an hour or so. And I didn't even get to see everything. And there was a top floor and I wish I would have filmed better, um, but there were so many people and I just wanted, you know, time to look at books and which was really fun. So I have some video of that. And then also while we were in town, we, I looked on the free little library app and I found some uh, little free libraries that were close to us and I didn't have any book I, actually I did have some books to to give but when when we went out that particular day I left them at the house so I didn't have any but I just wanted to film and see what what they had in their free little libraries and video those so we did that one day and then once um, I'll show that video of the bookstore and the the free little library and then i'll come back and i will show you my book haul from this bookstore it was so good it was such a i found a lot of good books and like i said i need to go back i definitely need to go back and um so let me go ahead and put in the video of the bookstore and then of the little free libraries on the road here we are visiting family here in uh, tennessee and i found out that near us in Knoxville is a the huge um, store called McKay's and it's like a used uh, bookstore with trade and things like that and I heard and I saw sorry <laughs> kind of bumping along anyway I saw that it was a really big huge bookstore and of course I love bookstores so we are headed there and I'm excited about it and we stopped and got our Starbucks and are excited at least I am I don't know about my husband over here uh, driving me, but
but uh, I will get there and hopefully get some good video and see if it is as big as I've heard and if I can find anything would be awesome so we'll see you in a little bit okay we made it and here we are McKay's used book CDs DVDs and more it is very large and I'm excited to get in there and find something so here we go Okay, found my spot here. Tons of love inspired things. Oh, they have it separated by, by famous all Kingsbury authors, so that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be in here for a while, I think. Okay, my mother in law would have this because they have a section just for D. Henderson. I love them to have everything. Um, by others. It's pretty cool. Okay, this is our, my first free little library here in Tennessee. This one's outside of a uh, fire station. We're just going to look in here and see what we've got. Mm. Uh, recognize this author. And something here. But nothing is calling out to me. So, that's number one. Okay, here's a cute, cute one with the little path, and I love the flags. And it's at a, on a dead end. It's really cute. So let's see what they've got. Got some kids books. I have heard of this one. Hello. And Patchett. Good night, ancient children's. Here is a, oh, this is kind of cool. It's a um, faith lessons. That author is I've watched videos by him that I really like. And some more kids' books. One fish tooth. <laughs> Here's a classic. <laughs> what a sweet one. This one is really sweet. Oh, a finger out of the... Here we go. Okay, so this one is by a school. It's a teeny one. Oh, and it's packed. Let's see here. Looks like there's mostly kids' books, but that's to be expected since it's a by a. Oh, wasp! Wasp! <laughs> This one? Oliana. That'd be a good one for a kid to get. Uh, all right. There we go. Okay, here's a nice little one and it has a little bench next to it. Cute. I love the red color. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's not much. We got some kid, a lot of kids books. Sorry, a lot of kids books. Stuart Little. Hey, another one. I just saw this in another library. Little library. And. I think I actually have this one at home. Oh, Vanicula. So, some kids, kids books. And 
another kid's book. Super, super slugger. Put those like that. All right. So that's that one. Okay. Like I said, I did not have take any books from the little free libraries because I didn't have any to 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 exchange. And also, there wasn't really any books that I, I wanted that were in those uh, little free libraries. But it was just fun going around and looking at them. And I don't know if you noticed in one of them, and this one goes out to you, Cheryl, uh, Candlewick Library. She posted a video uh, several weeks ago of her outing with little free libraries, and she was getting a uh, she couldn't go to a couple of them because they had wasps and there was one i don't know if you noticed in the video when i op opened up the door and i pulled the book out a wasp <laughs> a wasp flew out it scared me but i'm like oh my goodness now we're going to start with the wasp that was the only one that had a wasp anyway so here let me uh, share with you the books that i picked up at this awesome bookstore wasn't that awesome i mean it's huge and then like i said there was a, t a top floor that i didn't even go upstairs and they also had, and I wish I would have videotaped it, they had a ton of pops. And the pops are the, like those little figurines. And they had tons of them, tons of them. And then afterwards, my husband was telling me, he's like, he goes, did you see all the pops? And I go, yeah, I didn't even look through, you know, I, I was just there for books. I was like, I didn't even get a chance to look through those. And he goes, well, they had, they had them in the boxes, of course. And he goes, there was also in the back, they had a bin, a big bin of them, he said, that were just out of boxes that were, you know, and I'm like, oh, I should have, if I would have seen that, I would have definitely looked through those because they were probably cheaper because they were another box. But uh, for next time. And my husband actually picked up two books. I don't have those with me. He's, he was, he was there, he was in there for like maybe 15 minutes, found his two books, and then he went out to the parking lot and started reading. <laughs> so he, he didn't want to be in the store the whole time. But he, you know, he found what he, what he was looking for, which was cool. Okay, so let me go through these books that I picked up. I picked up, and I, in the back of the store, if you remember in the video, is the back was all filled with uh, Christian fiction and then Christian um, living books, which I didn't even look through those. I basically looked mostly at the Christian fiction. I looked at um, the young adult books. And I looked at the uh, middle grade books. And then I also went to... Uh, like his, the history section because they had his, his history for like young adults that I saw and then they had some places that had like bargain sections. I didn't look through like any of the thriller section or the mystery section. Um, didn't look through those. Of course they had all other kinds of you know um, nonfiction and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I may, may, mainly stayed with those those sections and which was which there was a ton, there was quite a ton. So anyway, let's get started. So this one I thought was a cool find because I just finished book one of this series called Wolf by Wolf. Um, and so I saw that they had the second book and this is Blood for Blood. And this is book, this book I read, the first book I read last month and has to do with a alternate reality of World War II and a, a girl that skin shifts and she's fighting for the resistance and that kind of left on a little cliff kind of like a you know you know what's gonna happen next and i was so happy to see that they had the second book there you know and by the way i will say that a lot of the most the most i paid for any of these books was eight dollars that was my the highest i paid everything else was a lot lower than that so this one was one that wasn't was not eight dollars and it was so and i mean it's a really good um, condition everything so that was a cool find and then I picked up out of in the Christian fiction section I picked up I guess I only picked up two books I thought I picked up more but I picked up two and this one's called Once Upon a Prince by Rachel Hawk now this book I've been seeing um, it has come up Lately this year, I know a lot of people talked about it for uh, when that when we had like prompts for royalty or princesses or um, it came up with that. And I'm trying to think, was this 
it might have been even a buddy read not a buddy read a group read that some but some people did maybe or maybe i'm thinking of a different book but anyway i had heard about this book and i know for uh beaches and books uh readathon one of the prompts is read a book that has a castle or royalty and i didn't have any royalty in any of the books i was reading so when i saw this one i go hey if i pick if i you know i can possibly add this to my tbr this month and i've heard this is a really good um book so i got that one and then the other one i got from the christian fiction section is let let excuse me just let go by courtney wash and i've heard a lot about courtney wash her books and i have not read any of these so i i've heard a ton about her books that she's really a really good author and this one is a um a romance i believe contemporary romance about a uh, a girl that has to do with the buying a flower shop so we got the flowers and so I thought this was a, a good find as well and then I went into the like I said I went into the young adult section and I found this one and I think I only paid 50 cents for this and this is a hardback and I, I looked through it I'm like why is it so cheap you know is there something wrong with it and I looked through it and I didn't see anything I mean it's I don't know why it was marked down so low. I mean, it doesn't even have any markings on it. So I was like, what? And this one is called Once Upon a Wardrobe. And this one's been on book around on booktube, especially during Christmas time. Some people were reading this. So I'm going to save this for my winter read. And this is uh, by Patty Callahan. And I'm trying to remember, is it... um. um has to do with the lion the witch and the wardrobe is it a retelling i don't remember i just i just know i just remember the the title and it just was familiar to me so uh, like i said it was only 50 cents and i was like wow so def i was super jazzed when i saw that one the other one i found in another one i found in the young adult section was this book and this is another one that's been on my uh tbr and this i'm i'm thinking was this my eight dollar book this one might have been my eight dollar book yeah i think this one was my eight dollar book <clears throat> anyway so this one is called romanoff and it's by nadine brandis and it has to do with the story of the romanoff family in russia and like i said i have had this one on my wish list for a while i've been i've even have it on a, i had it on a wish list on pango books and now i can take that off because i won't need it anymore because i've got it and she read she wrote a uh, wistress if i remember right and i really love that book and ever since i heard about this one i just love this cover isn't that a pretty cover i ever since i heard about this book i wanted i've been wanting to get it so when i saw that i just you know grabbed nabbed that one up okay and then and then i went over to the middle grade section and well before i get to that one i think i found these I think I'm sorry I think I found these two books in the middle grade section but I'm thinking maybe that they're YA or maybe not I don't know but I needed a book for also for the the beaches and books readathon is um so it had the the prompt was something about um they go under what the like an underwater setting, underwater setting, I think that's what it is. And so I wanted to find like a mermaid, uh, either a mermaid retelling story or just a, a book, a fantasy that had to do or a love story that had to do with mermaids. And I had heard about this book called uh, Deep Blue. I love that cover. And, and it's by Jennifer Donnelly. And so it was on my list, like to try to see if I could find it at my library. And so when I was in the middle grade section, I saw this and these were really cheap too. I mean, and it is good uh, condition. And then when I, I saw there was another book right next to it and it was called Rogue Wave, which is like a similar cover. And this one says book two in the deep blue um, uh, saga, epic saga. So I don't know offhand how many actual books there are in the series but i found the, t the first two so i was really happy about that so this is another one that i may um either i'll read it this month for that underwater setting if i have time i have so many books that i, I want to read 
but if not, I might keep this one for next month because next month I plan on reading like fantasy books about fantasy and sci-fi. So that would help, would count for that one. So then, so those were those two. And then I found also in the middle grade area, I found this book and this is one that I had heard about during middle grade March. Um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before that people were talking about this one. It's called The Girl Who Drank the Moon and it's by Kelly Barnhill. And this is another one that I've always wanted to try to get to read. And I've never been, I don't think my, I'm trying to think if my library had it or not. Maybe, maybe not like hard copy, maybe just on Libby, but it's, so it's nice to find uh, actual copy because I, I rather read, I like to read um, actual books. And this I think would be a fun read aloud for my daughter and I this, this year, you know, so she may, she may enjoy that one. And then the other middle, middle, I keep wanting to say middle age, no, middle grade, middle grade book by Jennifer A. Nielsen. And I tell you what, I have, I've read one of her books. I'm trying to think, I read Iceberg and that's the only one I've read so far, but I have um, a couple other ones of hers. I just haven't read them yet, but this one is called Resistance and this has to do with uh, World War II and a Jewish teenager living in uh, Nazi occupied Poland. And so, I'm already thinking, um, because I am a homeschool mom, I am thinking about what we're gonna do for history this year. And I think what I'm planning, hopefully, you know, it, it all works out. We may end the year at the end of the year to uh, the end of the year on World War II, that, that, time, that time frame in history. And this would be a good one to read as a, to add to our, our books that we're gonna be reading. And, like I said, I read Iceberg and I really enjoyed that one. And I've heard that her books are really great. They're really good uh, middle grade historical fiction reads. So there's that. And then the last um, middle grade book that I picked up going along with history. So I said the end of the year, we're gonna be probably on World War II era, World War I, World War II area. The beginning of the year, we're gonna be um, like moving into like civil war. And when I, I found this one, I thought this was interesting. This is called Chasing Lincoln's Killer. And so it's about, um, and I guess it's like a little nonfiction book about the man that, um, that murdered the president. So this would might be a good um, read aloud that we could we could do during that time, that time frame when we're doing that part, part of history. And then, and then the last one, and this one, oh, I saw this and I thought, I just saw the outside of it. I'm like, oh, it's probably gonna cost a lot because it was in such good condition. This is a DK Smithsonian Timelines of Everyone. And every time I, in a, when I'm in a used uh, thrift store or library sale and I see any of the DK books, I try to always, especially if they're in really good condition, I try to get them. So I thought this would be really expensive. This was, was only $4. So I was so, and it's like brand new. I mean, perfect um, condition. It even had in the back, um, this hadn't even been open. It, it has a family timeline that we can do with Ellie to put her, and I, I didn't realize what exact, I mean, I just grabbed it up. I didn't really even look at it thoroughly to see what kind of timeline it was. And I, so it's really a, and it does say that timeline of everyone. So it goes through history and then, but specifically looks at specific people. Uh, let's see, let me get like, like this is Plato, his time, timeline. And then further on down, Oh, it even opens up this way. This one is Oda no Goods. Oh, a Japanese, somebody in, in Japan that lived. So during that time period. And then here's one, Sitting Bull, during that time period. And so as the book goes further on, and that here's Eleanor Roosevelt. And... And just people in, you know, in, 
in history, famous people and during their time period. So here's like entertainment back in the day with Charlie Chaplin and then sport. Oh, they have sports, sport people too. So I just thought this was a, a really, oh, here's cool. Eva Peron, political, political people. So that is, oh, here's one that we can definitely study during our World War II time uh, and break. So this I thought was a excellent, excellent find. I was really happy to find that. You know, us homeschool mamas, when we are out <laughs> in the bookstores, we love to find finds like that. Okay, so the last book I have, I was really happy about too, because this is another one that was on my Pango uh, wish list. Or, and this is uh, Station Eleven, and it's by Emily St. John Mandel. And this is a sci-fi for sure. And here's another one that I may add Nick to next month. And I've heard really good things about this book. And it has to do with people living on the moon, if I'm I'm mistaken and I don't actually I don't even want to read the back of the book I don't even want to know anything about it I just want to go in blind and just really enjoy it because it's kind of I, I believe it's it's like a I don't know if it's a thriller or mystery or there's just something um, different or special about what's going on in this book and I don't want any any spoilers or anything like that so that one is uh, was a good find all right, so that is everything I picked up, and um, I really had we really had a fun time down in Tennessee. And like I said, I told my husband, "Hey, the next time we come down here, I'm going to that store again and spending a little bit more time in there." But um, it was fun; we had a great time, although the weather was, like I said, hot. Uh, so thank you for hanging out with me and watching the video that I have gotten for you. I am and all of people that do vlogs and they do such an amazing job putting their <laughs> videos and they do such great uh, video work and everything. Uh, hats off to you. I'm not there yet. I'm just a beginner, <laughs> just, but I had fun filming and um, going to the store, little libraries and everything. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you've read any of those middle grades or that uh, Deep Blue. I'm curious if anybody's read that Deep Blue book about the mermaid to see if it's something that is good okay so that is it that's all i have for you today you all have a blessed day and see you later bye, -bye.